Hello, this is Heisenberg with High Definition Video and Photos of all the upcoming Pacific Rim Uprising action figures, including those just revealed at New York Comic Con, such as these kaiju. So watch the whole video so you don't miss anything. Alrighty, so first we're going to start with the figures that are being released by toy maker Diamond Select Toys. So that's what we're looking at now. There are four figures initially coming from Diamond Select Toys. So Diamond Select Toys makes, for example, Marvel Select action figures. And in recent years, they made some excellent uh, Godzilla statues. So they have some really outstanding products at very affordable prices. So I'm glad to see that they're making some Pacific Rim figures. Alrighty, so we're looking at Series 1 of their uh, Jaegers. So three Jaegers, or robots and also one kaiju, as we'll see. And then there'll be more series, you know, there'll be more series of uh, Pacific Rim figures uh, later. So this first initial series one will be released around the time of the movie. They'll sell for about $25. Uh, their toys normally sell in comic book stores, and I've also found them for sale on Amazon. So these are about six inch uh, figures. Yeah, action, yeah, again, action figures made of vinyl with articulation. Now, one nice interesting detail about them is that these, uh, the way they're uh, painted is that the, they're painted as to showing some like battle wear on them. It's a little subtle, but I like it. I like it quite a bit. I like the sort of like the battle wear uh, that you can see that there's a, you know, you can see a little bit of uh, a little bit of wear and tear on the figures. Not a lot, just a little, little bits and fairly subtle, but I think it, I think it looks uh, very good. All right, so what are we looking at here? Well, we just saw, for example, uh, Gypsy Avenger, and now we're looking at uh, uh, Bracer Phoenix, who has like these uh, gu two guns coming out of his chest. So if you look at the uh, center of his chest there, now I'm showing you everything but his chest. But uh, yeah, he has two guns coming out of, out of the center of his chest. Can I, will I show them to you? I'm showing you everything but, but, I'm showing you everything but the chest. There they are. There, there's the guns. Yeah, so there, yeah, yeah, so yeah, he's looking good. And then what else we got here? You know, we're still looking at, uh, still looking at him. Okay, so then there, here's the third one, Saber Athena. So this is the Saber, oh, oh, oh yeah, that was Saber Athena. So I looked at that and there's, yeah, uh, there they are. So here's some uh, photos of them. All right, and then here's the Diamond Select Toys uh, Kaiju. So this is an unpainted prototype. Way up high in the in the booth, by the way. So so it was quite the challenge to uh, get the video of him, but I got it. And uh, yeah, so this is a good looking. This is a good looking giant monster. Uh, looks kind of like a uh, sea creature to me. But uh, yeah, I like the face quite a bit, and I like those uh, like the claws on him. And yeah, so this is a yeah unpainted prototype. So we'll see see if the what the final if the fi you know so the final product may end up differing from this. But uh, yeah, yeah, looking very good. Looking like a very nice monster. Yeah, 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 nice, yeah, nice claws. And then I've got a still photo, still photo of the head, which I'll show you in a minute so you can see more detail, detail of the head. So here's still video, still video of him. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, looking forward, looking forward to this guy. And pretty soon I think I'll show this. Yeah, there's the still, still photo. I sort of like tried to show you the contrast so you can see the detail detail there yeah looking good Alrighty, now moving on so now we're looking at the action figures made by Tashami Nations so Tashami Nations is part of Bandai and they make for example the SH Monster Arts figures which are the Godzilla figures now one thing that's quite surprising about the announcement of these uh, Pacific Rim Uprising figures from Tashami Nations is that they seem very affordable. They're saying that they're only going to charge from you know $20 to $40 for these figures. Most of them will be uh, $30. And that's just, you know, dirt cheap compared to like, you know, SH Monster Arts figures. Don't know what happened that they've uh, been able to make the price so low, but hope it's, yeah, hope it's really true. It's on the literature. All right, so these are coming out in February. They'll be sold, for example, by Barnes & Noble and hopefully also by Amazon because Barnes & Noble is a horrible store. 
you know, they may go out of business by uh, before February. They're just they're just terrible. I, I do not recommend trying to buy these figures from Barnes and Noble, especially their online website. Man, stay away from that. That is just you know that's a huge headache. So uh, yeah, try to find it on Amazon anywhere anywhere but uh, you know Barnes and Noble. So yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's sad. Maybe they'll get their act together one day before they go out of business. All right, so these are also about six to seven inches tall, and then they've got a kaiju too, which we'll see, and that's uh, nine inches. So here we've got uh, six uh, six figures, including this one just revealed at New York Comic Con. So this is uh, yeah newly revealed. This uh, black one is Obsidian Fury. Yeah, this is Obsidian Fury that we're looking at now. Very dark, very dark color. I had to sort of adjust my camera to sort of try to pick up the detail on him. So yeah, looking yeah, looking very good. Now with these, and then which one are we looking at now here? I believe this is Guardian Guardian Bravo with like this little whip here, which I think he can grab things and throw throw things with his whip. Yeah, this is Guardian Guardian Bravo. Now notice with these, these look much more uh, sort of like slick you know, slick and clean, like they just came out, you know, like they just got washed, you know, washed and waxed. So it's sort of a different look from the uh, Diamond Select Toys ones. Diamond Select Toys ones show a little bit of wear. Not a lot of wear, but a little bit of wear, a little bit of de battle damage. These look like just shiny and new. Uh, so I so that so that's one uh, contrast between them. So which one is this that we're looking at here? This is Titan Redeemer with that ball on his hand. Very impressive looking ball. And then here's the Gypsy Avenger again. So yeah, they're all very distinctive. And Gypsy Avenger is uh, the one that's going to be sold for $20, according to the literature. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's looking good. So what else do we have here? We got more of that. And here's Gypsy Avenger from another angle. Yeah, trying to show you. And then which one is this guy? I'm trying to remember here. This is, what's it? Oh, this is the guy with the guns again. So this is the Bracer Phoenix. Bracer Phoenix with the guns in his chest. And notice, yeah, he looks much more uh, like, yeah, just kind of sleek, sleek and polished and clean compared to the Diamond Select Toys one. And here's Saber Athena. So this is the one with female pilots. Yeah. And so, again, these were on display at, oh, yeah, and there's the kaiju. These were on display at uh, New York Comic Con, including this kaiju seen for the very first time at New York Co Comic Con. So he's, his name is uh, uh, Rajin. So he's the giant monster. And he's, yeah, he, and he's about nine inches tall. So quite a bit taller than the, uh, than the other figures. You can see him next to uh, Gypsy Avenger there. So yeah, looking very good. So he's, you can see him in the trailer. They've released the first uh, full trailer for uh, the movie. And uh, yeah, they did that at the panel at New York Comic Con. The director, Stephen S. DeKnight, was at the panel. And he's the main reason I'm hoping that the movie will turn out to be good. Like, I don't want the movie to be like a Transformers movie. I don't want like just mindless, nonstop action. You know, I find that tedious. I want something, you know, much more full, full story, full characters. You know, I want something much more balanced. And Stephen S. DeKnight has done some excellent work on television. He was a writer on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He did his own series Spartacus on, on uh, what was that on? Stars. And then he did uh, the first season of uh, Daredevil, uh, the Netflix TV show Daredevil. So he's done some excellent work that has both great action, great characters, and, uh, you, know, you know, and good stories. So I'm hoping for, yeah, all three, all three in, uh, in this movie. And giant monsters. Look at that. There he is. Alrighty, so a lot of stuff. And again, this is all just sort of like, you know, what's been announced so far in terms of like, this is all like the first wave stuff. So if these toys sell well, if the movie does well, I'm sure they'll probably make even more. But uh, yeah, a lot of good looking Good looking stuff here. I'm excited. I'm excited for the movie. I'm excited for the toys. And uh, yeah, yeah. Hope it all turns out. Hope it all turns out well. I'll be there opening day. This is Heisenberg. Hoping you enjoy Pacific Rim Uprising.